Illinois in the Sweet 16. Pre-game reports this afternoon on CBS2. A cop convicted of murder. What if there was no crime Saturday? You are unbelievable. I tell you not to threaten me, and you respond by threatening me. No, I'm just stating the possibility. You can either wake up, stop trying to cut me off at the knees, accept the fact that we're a good team with a mega million dollar deal in the works, or you can kiss life at that cozy cottage goodbye. So you don't care who gets caught in this. Mike has done nothing to you. And you won't think twice about making him suffer just so you can get back at me. I'm not the one hurting him. It's your choice. But you don't have to hurt him. You don't have to leave him. You can have it all, Jennifer. All you need to do is embrace the status quo at Street Jeans. This is blackmail. This is business. You really are a monster. No, I am a businessman. But you are self-destructing. And maybe that's what this is all about. It's not really you cheated on your boyfriend. Maybe it's just you realize you're more like your mother than you want to admit. And your response to finding her there on the floor was to wipe the place clean of prints? You panicked. I know how stupid it was. It was criminal, Carly, for anyone to do but you. You're the wife of a police no, detective. It's not her fault. I'm the one who wiped the place clean. Carly just kept my secret. just a kid. He's not even old enough to get a driver's license, and you want to try him as an adult? What are you trying to prove? Given the severity of the crime and the fact that Luke is showing no remorse, why don't you consider the fact that you've known him practically all his life and that he's never committed a crime? This is not personal, Holden. The state attorney general's putting the screws to my office on this one. I'm sorry it's turning out this way. Tom, come on. You, he can't go to prison. I mean, you know better than anyone what happens to kids in prison. Is this what you really want for him? Do you really think that he deserves that? I wish I could tell you what you want to hear, but all I can do is give you the facts. How many times do I have to say it before somebody believes me? Luke, it is my job to give you the best defense possible, and the way to do that is to show reasonable doubt. But I made a confession. I mean, nobody's, nobody's gonna have any doubt after that. There still can be mitigating circumstances. But they have my fingerprint, right? I mean, and they, they know I had a motive. So did some other people. But I did it alone. Nobody else had anything to do with it besides me. Especially not your mother. Right? Holden, I'm doing everything I can. I know. I know. The rest is up to me. Your son murders my sister. And you ask me for help. What kind of help? What? Why would I do anything for you? Because Luke is not responsible. I am. Yeah. You are. You're responsible for a lot of things. You left my sister unconscious, left her there to die. But then your son came along and finished the job. He confessed. He's protecting me. Protecting you, huh? He's, he's willing yes. to go to jail. He's 15 years old. Don't you think that's a little extreme? No, not for Luke. He's been covering my tracks ever since this happened, burning a pair of gloves that I left behind at Julia's apartment, hanging around the crime scene to see if there's any more evidence that would incriminate me. Well, maybe he was hanging around to see if there's anything that was going to incriminate him. You suspected me from the beginning, and you're right. I killed Julia. So all that talk was all just garbage. You know, how, how was an accident you need to hurt her? It was just a lie. Yes. Why are you... Why don't you go to the police with this? Because the police won't listen to me. They think they have their man, but they're wrong. I am the woman that you want, and you are the only one that can make me pay.
not let my son go to jail for a crime he did not commit. Well, you had no problem sitting back, letting me take the rap. No. No, I'm sorry, I was a coward. And I saw a way out, and... But please, I'm trying to make things right now. I don't know whether you killed Julia or not. Frankly, I don't care. But the fact that you're going to watch your son go to jail for something that you may or may not have done, that's what you deserve. That's two for the money, and I can live with that. No, no, you can't. Please. You cannot leave until you hear everything that I have to say. OK, so I'm standing there. And she comes through the door, bag first. I thought she was like, in your face. But no, she was saying, you got to see what just came in at Big Lots. I've always known about Big Lots. I mean, hello, big orange exclamation point. I just didn't know new stuff every week. They got trucks rolling in and brand name closeouts rolling out. When closeout opportunity comes to get you, you better have your shopping shoes on and not those heels. Big Lots, what's your deal today? How about this? Coleman Flea Sleeping Bags close out priced at just $9.99 each. Here's to your couch. Day after day, year after year, it's always there for you. What better way to say you care than with new and improved Febreze? Now with Cleanse Air, a unique new formula that eliminates odors on fabrics better than ever before. Use Febreze and say thank you, couch. It's Couch Appreciation Month. Visit ilovemycouch.com and you could win a room makeover from Ashley Furniture. Honey, that dog doesn't even like carrots. It's called mom vision. They're on your desk. The ability to see things that others can't, even on dishes. Oh, thanks, honey. Hey, looks clean. But let's try this. Introducing Dawn with Bleach Alternative. Powers away unseen food residue. You might not see it, but mom knows it's there. And now she knows it's taken care of. New Dawn with Bleach Alternative. Get Dawn and get done. Put it back. Ask your doctor if Zelnorm is right for you. Or for more information, call 1-877-ZELNORM or visit zelnorm.com. Zelnorm. This allergy season's the worst, but now I'm Claritin Clear. Claritin D relieves congestion and sinus pressure without drowsiness. That's Claritin Clear. For the worst, get the most. There's clear, then there's Claritin Clear. Bring me to shore. Shorts starting at 12.50. Tonight, Dave's got The Rock, plus... Have you ever been injured on the snowmobile? No, nothing we need to talk about. All right. Unbelievable snowmobile stunts on 53rd Street tonight. Ever wondered about the fire safety of your child's dorm? Tomorrow on The Early Show. I know how much you hate me. You haven't even scratched the surface. Please, don't take your hatred of me out on an innocent child. I was willing to let you go to prison because I thought I could get away with it. I thought I could start my life over again, get my husband back, my family back together again. Yeah, you were going to go on your merry way while I took the rap. I told myself I couldn't care about you because you were Julia's brother. Oh. You practically condoned your sister destroying my marriage. See, now, now, now there you go, trying to pin it on my sister again. Even though you know that she had full cooperation from your husband, you know that. Do you want to hear my story? No, I don't want to hear any more stories. Why is yours any different? Because this one leaves absolutely nothing out, I promise you. When I found out that Julia had stolen drugs and she was a fugitive, I thought that I had a way to force her out of Oakdale. And when I told her what I had learned and what I wanted, she laughed at me. She said she was here to stay. She and Holden were in love. Yeah. And I would have to live with that. And that's when I wrote her this.
Hey, buddy. Uh, looks like somebody's been busy on the computer. What's going on? I didn't want you to forget. Forget what? Me? My mom? What it was like when we were a family? She, she hated my mom. But, but you didn't. You said you'd always care about us. In a minute. Hey, come on over here for a second. Sit down. The time that I spent with you and your mom was a very special time in my life. I loved your mother very much. And when you love somebody, they're always a part of your life, JJ. It doesn't matter where you go or how much time passes. I promise. I cross my heart. Hey, look, I couldn't forget your mother any more than I could forget you. You changed my life, buddy. In ways that I can't, I just can't explain. That's what happens when you love somebody. They change your life. You're a part of me. And I'm a part of you. Whether you like it or not. Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you go see if you left anything out back so you can pack it up for your Uncle Keith, okay? had a message that you wanted to see me urgently. Well, I didn't mean you had to drag yourself all the way up here. I plan on stopping by the big house. Well, there's no time like the present. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. now that I have a bona fide celebrity living on my property, I have to make sure that the body behind street jeans has everything he needs. Mm -hmm. The only celebrity in this house is the designer. Yeah, she's, she's a fine. She's a fine. She's very talented. The company's taking off. Worldwide is lucky to have her. Yeah, so am I. Now, I'm glad we agree on that, because uh, I think I have an idea that's going to make all three of us a lot happier. I'm listening. OK. What I'm suggesting will send Jennifer's productivity through the roof with, like, zero chance of burnout. And how much is this going to set me back? Not a cent. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> but um, since Craig is Jennifer's liaison at the company, I think Perhaps you should be speaking to him and not me about any plans you have. Well, I'll tell you right now, he's going to hate this idea. Uh, because if you approve what I'm thinking of, he's going to be seeing a lot less of Jennifer than he was before. Oh. <laughs> you want to do big business, you're stuck with me, unless you want Mike to know all about our big night. I was half drunk. I am having a meltdown about your mother and about Mike, and you just have no idea how you ended up begging to I get in my bed. You for Grow anything. up! Stop playing a victim. You're not. You're not a child. You knew exactly what you were getting into. Maybe you're right. You didn't force me to do anything I didn't want to do. But I'll be damned if I let you hold it over my head so that you can keep me in line. Street Jeans is my company. Those are my designs. What, is, what does that mean? That means that I can shut it down and set up shop elsewhere if I'm forced to. Whatever. But if you cut me out, you lose mine. But then again, maybe you're not losing that much. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come looking for me. new pepperoni trio pizza with three flavors of pepperoni all the classic pepperoni you love plus two new flavors of pepperoni for triple the pepperoni taste a large is just 10.99 you only get three flavors of pepperoni topping when you gather around the good stuff airwick decosphere is the unique air freshener designed to fit your personal style with two new captivating scents lotus flower and blue orchid and magnolia and cherry blossom it smells just as good as it looks decosphere only by Airwick. Go ahead, I'll be right there. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if life worked like this parking meter? I could keep putting quarters in and Mom, stay here Mama. with my family forever. Of course, life doesn't work that way. That's why I bought life insurance from Colonial Penn to help make sure my final expenses won't become my family's problem. 
and it costs me about a quarter a day. For about a quarter a day, just $7.95 a month per unit, Colonial Pen offers guaranteed acceptance life insurance to people ages 50 to 85. These days, funeral costs alone average over $6,000. Now you can get help with no medical exam, no health questions. And the rate of $7.95 a month per unit is guaranteed never to increase. Remember, if you're age 50 to 85, you cannot be turned down for any reason. After the first two years, your benefit will never decrease. As long as you pay your premiums, your coverage can never be canceled, and your policy builds cash value you can borrow against. Call 1-800-996-9300 to receive free information in the mail. You'll get this handy guide to Social Security absolutely free. That number again is 1-800-996-9300. Call now. The way I see it, about a quarter a day is an affordable way to make sure my loved ones have help to pay my final expenses. The good life. You've only got two days to save hundreds of ways. It's the Super Spring Sale at Sears. Friday and Saturday, save wall to wall on our brightest ideas for spring. Like fashions, fresh and fun is the season. On sale now. This will come in handy. Save on the coolest craftsman tools. Plus, bag big savings on all mowers and tractors. Tune into the hottest electronics. All Sony is on sale. Shop two days, save multiple ways. The Super Spring Sale at Sears. Good life, great price. Do the cool whip. Desserts all around, every egg's been found. Do the cool whip. Cool whip, it's the finishing touch. Do the cool whip. Try luscious strawberry cool whip. Strawberry cool whip. Why do some feminine problems start as one, then go to two? Like itch and odor. Only Vagisil handles both. Powerful itch medicines plus odor blocking. Two problems, one solution. Only Vagisil. A better understanding of better intimate care. Now, I suggest you try to control your emotions, at least in public and you think long and hard about the magnitude of this deal. I need to fill a progress report with Sierra and Tony Kwan. And I'm going to tell them that everything is hunky-dory and that you and I are going to sing. I, I told you I'm not going anywhere with you, Craig. We'll see. Get to you. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw Craig smiling on his way out. I figure somebody paid a high price for that. <sighs> what do you do this time? Nothing. I did it. I did it all to myself. Are you ever going to speak to me again? I haven't decided. At least, maybe you could try... Well, try... Try and see it from your point of view, Carly? No, I can't. I guess it's a cop in me. Well, maybe you could try to stop being a cop for a minute and be my husband. A woman is dead. She was hurt. She was left to die alone. Alone, Carly. This is the same woman that, that nursed me back to health and took care of me. What'd you expect to happen here? Did we just forget the whole thing, sweep it under the rug and get on with our lives I know as what usual? Lily and I did was wrong, It was Jack. criminal. Heartless. And I know you don't see it that way. I know you don't. To you, you were, you were being loyal to a friend. You get tunnel vision sometimes. I understand that. I get that. You've always been that way since the day we met. But I never imagined you'd do this. I always thought that getting married and having Sage and building a life together would change you in some way. I don't know. I guess it has, actually. Only I don't know what it's changed you into. I wanted to tell you the truth. But you should have told me the truth. But instead, you covered up a murder. You made a fool out of me. 
You compromised my job, my career. You compromised the case, and God help you, Carly. God help you, because you stood silently by while an innocent man was accused of murdering his own sister. When Lily came to me, she said that Julia was alive. We went back to Julia's, and Julia was dead. So we thought there might be a chance that Keith was guilty. Yes, but you knew that there was a better chance that he wasn't. But you're too busy covering Lily's butt and your own. I mean, did it ever occur to you once to protect your husband? We're supposed to be partners here. We're supposed to work as a team. How am I ever supposed to trust you again? No, please don't say that. Tell me something, tell me something. When you thought I was gone forever after my car went off that bridge, did you bargain with God? A hundred times a day. What'd you promise him? That if he just brought me back to you, that, that you'd never do anything to risk losing me again? Something like that. Yeah. How many times since then have you lied to him? Jack. How many times, Carly? Jack. How many times? You tell me. You tell me you're not thinking about leaving me over this. Look, Holden, uh, I know this might be hard to hear, but maybe Luke did. No, Jess. No. I know, my son. He did not do this. So you're still sure he's protecting Lily? I think he's convinced himself that he's the only one who can. I need to talk to him. No, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Every time he talks to you, every time he sees you, it seems to just strengthen his resolve to plead guilty. Just give me one more chance. I think I know how to get through to him. Julia didn't leave town. You were going to kill her. That's what you want me to believe. It's the truth. Not according to Carly. Well, Carly only knows what I've told her. And I needed her help to hide the evidence and to clean up the fingerprints. I, I only told Carly what I knew she would believe. And the police didn't find this letter because... Because I found it. First, when Carly and I went back to clean up the apartment. And I took it. But you could put it back. You could just tell them that you found it when you were packing up her things. The police will not listen to me anymore, but they will listen to you. No one hated your sister more than I did. And when I found out that she was going after my husband, I wanted her to die, and I told her that that night. Look, I, I don't want to hear this. She was a woman with no morals, no heart, no soul. And that Jack and Holden and the rest of the world would be a much better place if, if she was dead. And I wanted her to die, so I pushed her. And she hit her head and she fell to the ground. And I watched her suffer. I watched her beg for her life. I could have helped her, but I didn't. I could have called 911, but I didn't. I could have opened the door. You were right there knocking on the door. I could have opened it and let you come in and help her, but I needed her to die. Because if she was dead, my sister died. Yes. And when she finally died, finally died, I felt like I could breathe again. What about JJ? What about him? Didn't you even care? What, does she care? About my children? About my family? Why should I shed a tear for that woman and her child? You know, you're sick. You're well, really sick. 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 And there's another special name for a woman like that. But I'm not going to say, but someday, someday we'll fill her son in on exactly what that is. Coming up on As the World Turns. I'm sorry if I compromised your job, but I am not sorry that I stood by Lily. If it was Holden who needed your help, you would have done the same thing. If you want justice for Julia, Nothing was more important than treating my depression. And with once daily Wellbutrin XL, I feel like me again. And I have to say it's nice that there's a low risk of sexual side effects. Wellbutrin XL effectively treats depression with a low risk of sexual side effects. It feels great to enjoy being around people again.
Wellbutrin XL is not for everyone. There is a risk of seizure with Wellbutrin XL, so don't use if you've had a seizure or eating disorder, or if you abruptly stop using alcohol or sedatives. Don't take with MAOIs or medicines that contain bupropion. With the nicotine patch or alone, there is a risk of increased blood pressure, sometimes severe. To reduce risk of serious side effects, tell your doctor if you have liver or kidney problems. Anyone taking Wellbutrin XL should call their doctor right away if they have unusual changes in mood or behavior or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants increase these thoughts or behaviors in children and teens. Once daily Wellbutrin XL really helped me. It works for my depression with a low risk of sexual side effects. Ask your doctor about Once Daily Wellbutrin XL. Get to the big one, Cole's biggest sale of the season, where you can expect to find great night owl and early bird specials, like 50 to 60% off select Mrs. Sportswear, all men's Crofton Barrow and Sonoma casual pants, just $14.99, and 50 to 60% off all men's Arrow and Crofton Barrow dress shirts and ties. They're dressing in casual shoes for the family at 40 to 60% off. And get extra savings on our entire stock of kitchen electrics. Don't miss the big one at Kohl's. Kohl's. Expect great things. Now for me, it's Stanley Steamer in that yellow van every time. Call today and ask about our $99 special. You'll feel so fresh underneath it all. You'll feel so carefree underneath it all. Carefree Dry Ideal Panty Liners lock in two times more moisture than the leading liner, so you can feel drier and fresher all day. I tried lots of different allergy medicines, but I still had to give up a roommate with cats, a boyfriend with cats, and my own love of dogs. Then I found Zyrtec. No other allergy medicine is approved to treat more indoor and outdoor allergies than Zyrtec, the number one antihistamine prescribed by allergists. The most common side effects were drowsiness, dry mouth, and tiredness. Since individual results may vary, ask your doctor if going straight to Zyrtec is right for you. Lots of allergy medicines, just one Zyrtec. Suzanne's perfect life See at the house. was about to change forever. You got a double bypass. You know I love children, Suzanne. I'm sorry. He walked out with my whole life. You know your way around the island? I could uh, show you around sometime. Christina Applegate. You don't care? You don't want kids? I want you more. Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas, CBS Sunday. She thought he was the one until she went to his house. Lo and behold, the wife and four kids entered the door. Judge Judy. He's an unethical, amoral man. Today at 2 on CBS 2. Auction gives me opportunity to uh, get a fair car at my price. Come out to the City Public Auto Auction. We're open Wednesdays at 5 o'clock for viewing and bidding starts at 6. We're open Saturdays at 10 a.m. and the bidding starts at 12 noon. We have all types of cars and most of the cars are thousands of dollars under proof of value. City Public Auto Auction, located at 400 East 147th Street, only in Harvey. It is the Midwest largest public auto auction. I recommend anyone to come here to the auction. Lover's Lane celebrates another grand opening. Every store chain-wide is celebrating with sale prices. You'll find savings store-wide on sensuous lingerie, intimate apparel, and sexy men's gear. Lover's Lane has the perfect gift for birthdays, anniversaries, showers, and bachelorette parties. From playfully outrageous to glamorous or provocative, a gift from Lover's Lane says, I love you. While shopping, enter to win a free Fantasy Caribbean cruise for two. Lover's Lane, now open in Shorewood and Donner's Grove, the ultimate store for couples. The Illini take on Wisconsin-Milwaukee tonight at 6, only on CBS 2. March Madness on CBS. It's all here. You don't know anything about Julia. She wasn't trash. She was my sister, and I loved her. And so did your husband, okay? Yeah, you keep trying to blame her. But he saw the, the, the million great things about my sister. That's why he was in love with her. And that's why he's never, ever going to be in love with you again. Your sister turned me into the kind of person that my husband can't love anymore. And whatever you think of me, I'm not the kind of person to sacrifice my own son. 
So please, please give the police this letter, please. Why should I? Because very soon the police will realize they have no case against Luke. And he'll be set free. He'll come home. And I'll take this letter and I will burn it. And this conversation between the two of us never happened. It's really up to you, Keith. If you want justice for Julia, it's in your hands. What happens next? Seems like a pretty good solution right now. But after the year that Sage and Parker have had, I don't think I could do that to them. So your generosity is for the sake of the children. Well, forgive me if I don't thank you for that. Oh, do what you're gonna do, Carly. You're gonna anyway. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop pretending that there's a partnership here, that we're in this together. And I know you're not perfect, neither am I, but I thought at least some things were sacred. I know what I did was wrong, Jack. But would you have believed us if Lily and I went to you and told you the truth about what happened that night? That things got out of hand? That Julia pushed Lily? That Lily pushed her back? That Julia accidentally fell and hit her head on the table? Yes! Yes, I would have. But you didn't play it that way, Carly. You played it your own way. And now a woman's dead. And I am sorry about that. I will always be sorry about that. Well, that makes two of us. Please try to understand. Don't try to justify what happened, Carly. And stop blaming Julia for her own death. She didn't deserve this, and neither did JJ. And no amount of excuses is gonna change the fact that there's a little boy that's gonna grow up without his mother. I know that you're angry, Jack. But just keep in mind that I am not the person who hurt Julia that night. No, no, I know you didn't hurt her. Didn't exactly help her either. You could have helped, Julie. You could have helped me. I'm sorry if I compromised your job, Jack. But I am not sorry that I stood by Lily. If it was Holden who needed your help, you would have done the same thing. If that's what you think, you don't know the first thing about me. There are some things, Carly, you just don't do. Even for people you love. I guess that's the difference between us. So what do you think? Do you approve? Approval granted. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think it's just, it's tremendous. What does mm -hmm. Jennifer think? Well, I haven't told her yet. It's a surprise. Oh, she's just so lucky having a... Guy like you in her corner. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna win Boyfriend of the Year award anytime soon. I, I missed her big night at Metro and uh, trying to make it up to her. Mm. An artist studio right mm. here in my cottage. <laughs> Tremendous. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, that way whenever she has burned the midnight oil, she won't have to sleep on that sofa in her office. Yeah, got it. And you're right. Craig is not gonna like this, not at all. <laughs> he does so enjoy monopolizing the talent's time. Now, those days are over. Right? Too much exposure to Craig isn't good for anybody. Amen. I told myself that I could have it all. I could have a fabulous career, a man who loves me, a happy life. Well, who says you can't? Craig? What's he doing? Trying to make you feel like you and your company are nothing without him, that somehow he made you? That's not quite it. Well, whatever it is, everyone knows he'd be nothing without street jeans. Or you. So, don't let him get under your skin. I know, I know. Uh, I guess the stress is just getting to me. But I'm fine. I'm fine, I can handle Craig. Until you find yourself in the middle of thin ice, Hmm. Well, 
I don't think I'm in any imminent danger. So, thanks for the chat. Really, I'm fine. I've seen you fine. In the same it. Miss Jennifer, it's a little more time before we can go to Singapore. I managed to convince Tony Kwan's people that postponing the meeting was advantageous for them. Well, that's good news. <laughs> it certainly is. Why, well, I was wrong. This is a huge deal. I thought you were on board with this Asian expansion. Well, that's before I began to have certain concerns. About what? You and Jennifer. You know, that whole episode at the Lakeview really left me with the impression that there were some things that weren't said. I can't imagine. Sure you can. So maybe you want to tell me something honest about why Jennifer is having such a difficult time working with you. Jennifer has a creative temperament. But we're working through that. As soon as we get back from Singapore... Actually, I was thinking that uh, maybe you should take a break from Street Jeans. There are countless other projects at Worldwide that could use your expertise. I have a huge deal in the works here. I can't walk away now. Well, I really hope that you reconsider. Why? Because somebody needs to look out for the best interests of this company. I am! You know, actually, I think that you are too personally attached to this project, and you are losing perspective, and you are unwilling or unable to do what is necessary for the good of this company. So, I have to make the hard decisions. <laughs> Give me a break. I beg your pardon. This has nothing to do with street jeans or worldwide. This is about you. What about me? You're jealous. from an air-conditioned store. One of life's simple pleasures. Milky Way. Chocolate. Caramel. Nougat. One of life's simple pleasures. Clothes, no spills. Sound good? <laughs> Moms know the Yazinator never lies. Sunny D, the good stuff kids go for. Uncomfortable around fish? Try Vandicamps. Select whole fillets perfectly prepared. Vandicamps. Get comfortable with fish. Your doctor's guidance. Your mother's advice. Your own instincts. There are some things you know you can trust. That's why you use Johnson's Head to Toe with the unique No More Tears formula. The most trusted way to bathe your baby. It's time to end your relationship. With department store prices, come to the Burlington Coat Factory Easter Savings Event. Everything up to 60% off. We've got the greatest selection of the latest top quality designer fashions for the whole family. From suits and dresses to everything for Easter. Because happiness means never having to pay department store prices. Burlington Coat Factory. Love labels? You'll love our prices. I'm not a patient man. Waiting? Not my thing. One hour photo, too slow. Fast food, not fast enough. Heartburn, who has the time? I take new Maximum Strength Zantac. It's so fast, I can take it before a meal to prevent heartburn or after, to quickly relieve tough heartburn. And the leading prescription, it can take a day or more to fully work. That's just crazy talk. For me, Maximum Strength Zantac. Hey, buddy, move it. I like this guy. New Maximum Strength Zantac, the speed you need against heartburn. Monday, this is it. The episode you voted for is your all-time favorite. Did you ever think of hugging me, you 
jerk. It's pretty hard to hug someone who's trying to kill you. Everybody loves Raymond. Then it's a two and a half man so sexy. Sippy's getting his freak on. It's so outrageous, there's only one way to describe it. Hootenanny yum yum. Two and a half men after Everybody Loves Raymond, CBS Monday. Young Mr. Presley. I want to buy my mom and daddy a house. You work for me. That's it. I'm your daddy. I don't need your daddy in anymore. I don't be cruel. Jealous. Mm-hmm. Of what? You and Jennifer? Give me a break. You're jealous of our six of my success, more to the point. You know, the world doesn't solely revolve around you. Oh, no, I know. I know, no, I believe the world turns for all of us. You were very content when you had me forever tucked away in that monastery, but now that I'm taking the world by storm in a job you begged me to take, you're suddenly threatened. And that's why you called me here not to commend me, but to shoot me down. You know what? I am only trying to get to the bottom of this for the good of the company. And instead of you talking to me rationally like an adult, you have to do all this mudslinging, you know, it's really kind of insulting. I know. I am insulted. Well, if that's the way you feel, maybe you should just forget about taking on another project. And if you find it so unbearable to abide by my decisions and treat me in a respectful manner, then you know what? I welcome you. No, no, no. I urge you to leave Worldwide immediately. I don't want to see you get hurt. Well, I'm fine. And I appreciate it, but I really have to get going. Back to the grind, huh? Home to see Mike. He's a good guy if he makes you happy. Deliriously. Excellent. What are you telling him about Craig? There's nothing to know. The wonderful thing about a relationship is he can make your partner believe just about anything. You can't lie to yourself. Take care. Do you think that all you have to do is just refuse to talk to me? Refuse to look at me? And I'm gonna give up? I'm not gonna give up. No matter how angry you get, no matter how many times you tell me to go away, I'm not gonna do it. Because when I look at you, I see a lot more than this one horrible moment. I see all those years together. And you made me so proud. And it's not just you riding better than kids twice your age or when you were voted captain of the hockey team. I think of the quieter times. I remember a time when I saw you out pushing your sister on the swing. You didn't want to do it. You wanted to go. You wanted to do your own thing. But you stayed there. And you pushed her. Because she was having so much fun and you knew it. That's why you didn't stop. This is stupid. You're wasting your time. This is a serious crime. So serious that you will go to prison if they find you guilty. I am guilty. Then you will go to prison, not juvenile hall. And you will stay there for a very long time. Now look, if you did this and you're confessing, because you want to make things right, then I will help you. I will do anything I can to help you. But if you're confessing because you're afraid that your mom is guilty and you're afraid of what might happen to her, you have got to stop this. You are not helping anyone. I don't want you here. Your mother doesn't want you here. It's killing her that you even have to spend one night here. What do you care about how my mom feels? I care about your mother. And if she's found guilty, then I'll do everything I can to help her and protect her. But you gotta tell me the truth. I need to know. I swear to you, 
I will do everything that I can to make things right. I want to tell you something, and I don't want you to ever forget it. Your mother loved you more than anything in this world. And all she wanted was for you to be happy. She still does, and so do I. So I want you to make me a promise. Anything. If you're not happy living with your Uncle Keith, you call me, day or night, and you let me know, and I'll take care of everything, okay? Like before? Like always. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. And you know why? Because you're my son. That'll never change. Come here. Hey, come on in. We were just getting JJ ready to go. Hi, hey, JJ. You ready to hit the highway? <clears throat> You said you weren't going to go to Chicago for some time, so where are you going to be staying? Uh, we're going to be over at the uh, Lakeview for a little while. Clear up some illegal stuff. Well, I'm glad you're going to be close by. Hey, listen. Remember what I said. You need anything, you call me, okay? Come here. Bye, buddy. Okay. Wait, wait. There's something that I would like to say. starting at $8.99 and select candy three bags for $5. Get it while it's cheap. This week only, only at Kmart. You can't ignore Friday's new sizzling chicken and shrimp. It's just one of our six sizzling platters. Everyone could use more Fridays. What happens when two Aussies get together? Dual Personality Styling Line is born. Our new way of mixing two distinct styling products in one. Like Mousse Plus Leave-In Conditioner. Mousse to mold, conditioner to quench. With natural Australian ingredients for that Aussie flair. New Dual Personality. A family of products only Aussie could conceive. Aussie, add some rude to your do. Burnt out and beat? You need total refreshment. With Zest Tropical Fresh. It's fresh sensation picks you up and brings you back alive. With a cleaner rinse than ordinary soap. Zest Tropical Fresh. Go tropical and get totally refreshed. There's a new wave of Zest. Introducing the new body wash from Zest Ocean Energy. A refreshing blue gel with an energizing scent that lasts up to eight hours. Also try new Morning Garden and Spring Splash. Get your Zest back. Here in the small European village of Werther is the home of the world's favorite caramel, Werther's Original. There for over a century, a family tradition of making smooth, creamy caramel has been handed down from generation to generation, using real butter and fresh cream. And then, when it's just right, wrapping them in gold so we can hand them down to you. Werther's Original, hard or chewy, the world's favorite caramel. Airwick Decosphere is the unique air freshener designed to fit your personal style with two new captivating scents, Lotus Flower and Blue Orchid and Magnolia and Cherry Blossom. It smells just as good as it looks. Decosphere, only by Airwick. Mom's making rich chocolate Ovaltine hot. Yeah! Ovaltine's made with milk, so it tastes creamy. And it's more nutritious than Swiss Miss or Nestle Hot Cocoa. We're back. Who wants Ovaltine hot? Me! Me too. More Ovaltine hot, please. You think she's trying to con you? Just like she conned my father. She loves the money, the house, the lifestyle. That's what she went after when she went after my father. And that's what she's afraid of losing now. Obviously, she's an accomplished liar. I'm right. She's hiding something. She's going down, and she's going down hard. The Young and the Restless, CBS Daytime. My only concern is the good for this company. So why don't you deal with your ego and your personal time? <sighs> 
All right, all right. Maybe I am taking things a little personally, but this company is going gangbusters, and I don't know how else to assure you there is nothing to worry about. I have given the little princess everything she needs, everything she has asked for. And sure, there are kinks, but Jennifer and I are a successful team. And if you don't believe me, ask her. You know, I might just do that. All right, and she will back me up, because you know why? Because we both want the same thing, and that is success for street jeans and worldwide, and nothing is going to change that. Thought I heard your car pull up. Welcome home. I got something for you. I was gonna wait and show it to you in 3D when it was all finished and everything, and you got back from Singapore, but I just, I, I can't wait to see the look on your face. Thank you, it's for you. Mike, I have something I have to tell you. So you're saying, if I tell the truth, he'll make everything right. I'll do my best. Your best. And here's the truth. Once and for all. I killed Julia. And if you had given a damn about mom, neither one of us would have been here right now. That's the truth. Yes. <laughs> then why'd he go away? It's complicated. You miss him? I know I miss him too. But I'm doing everything I can to bring him home, okay? I don't like when people go away. Me either. I know. You won't go away too, will you, Mommy? You know, sometimes... Sometimes people have to go away to make things better. It doesn't mean they don't love us anymore. And when there's love, that's all that matters. And you know that no matter where Mommy goes, that I love you, don't you? Never forget that, okay? No matter what. Hey, JJ, why don't you run out to the car? I'll be right there, okay? I'll get the bags and everything. Okay? All right. What is it? Carly. Jack? It's okay. I'd like to tell you that I'm sorry. Sorry? Well, what exactly are you sorry for? For not coming forward with the truth when you were being held as a suspect. And, and why did you do that? <clears throat> Lily and I were afraid that no one would believe the truth. And I know that it's no excuse, but when Lily told me that Julia was alive when she left her apartment and that you were there banging on the door, well, I couldn't be sure that it wasn't you. And I know that an apology isn't going to change anything. It's not going to change the past or the damage done. But maybe... Maybe uh, once you get settled in Chicago, you could drop us a line from time to time and let us know how JJ's doing. I thought I made it clear to you that I wasn't going anywhere until justice was served for my sister. Was there anything else? Yeah, there is. On the next as the world turns. The reason that I didn't come back here. So, so you, you, you took a night for yourself. I wasn't by myself, Mike. If he's lying about killing Julia, then we need to know. 
Maybe you can go in there and try and get him to tell the truth. Where'd you get this key? Let me see it. Answer my question. Why are you getting so upset? Because it's a one-way ticket for you up the river. Premeditated murder of my sister. For you, my sweet. Uh -huh. I see you are overcome with love. Or could it be congestion and other seasonal nasal allergy symptoms? Your congestion.